Hi, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my precious little babies. So this week we are going to build something. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So yes, we are going to be making something from popsicle sticks again, which is... I don't know how I feel about it. The last time I did something like this, it was so intense and so much work that I had to take a break for a few months. So that's what I did. And now I feel like I have had enough recuperation time to throw myself back into it because I don't think you guys understand the struggle of working with popsicle sticks. There's just so much stuff that can go wrong at any time. And like the dust or like the, like when you sand, yeah, dust. When you sand, all this dust flies everywhere and that's like, it makes you itchy. There's so much of it constantly that you have to clean up. You have to cut things. I cut myself so many times when I'm making this stuff, but. Okay, let me not be so negative about it. It's just a lot of work. That's all I have to say about it. But I know that some of you really enjoy watching me build things from popsicle sticks. So this week we are going to be making a farm. So this is our reference picture. This is what I want to do. And I want the roof to open and stuff. I want to be able to see inside. Obviously, what's the point of like building something if you can't interact with it? It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a struggle. But first thing we have to do is make a sketch, dimensions, how long things have to be. <laughs>
morning. So I have some Nutella bagel and some coffee. You can't have chocolate. It's been a few days since I've talked to you and I have been getting so much done. I've just been sitting here cutting all these popsicle sticks. It's been a thing because um, it's kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Well, it's not difficult, it's just more like the repetition starts to hurt my hand and my um, right here. I mean, you can see where it's like red right here because from constant like pressure that I put on it. So that's been fun. I think the next thing to do might actually be to start putting all of this together and seeing what happens. Because I wanna start working on the roof, but I can't start working on the roof because I don't wanna make any mistakes when it comes to the roof. Because the roof is gonna open up and we're gonna be able to see inside through the roof. So it does have to be, like there just has to be pretty precise measurements going on so I don't mess any of this up, you know? I don't know. I think I, I already showed this, but look at our doors. I don't know if I've showed you guys, but this is like, the thing that I made, right? So that like it can slide. I'm a genius. So like, you can go closed. And then when you want to open it, it opens like a barn door. It opens, like what am I doing? I'm a genius. This is why I went to college. So we have come to a point where <laughs> I don't know what to do because we have enough pieces to start assembling, but I'm really worried because the paint job, I hope I don't mess up because I started painting all the little details that you've seen me paint thus far, like this. And I think it would be easier to paint this now that it's like disassembled, but I don't want the paint to like cause things not to stick. And I just want to start assembling already, you know? So I think we can start assembling because I don't want to wait anymore. And we'll paint after we have some of the assembling done because we won't be able to like, like later on, we won't be able to paint. It does not matter. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, it's assembly time. It's more for time. <laughs>
Good morning. It is, I think, the last day of this project, which is exciting, but what's not exciting is I think I'm getting sick. <coughs> I really hope I'm not getting sick. <coughs> um. So this is where we're at right now. It's looking really, really cool. We popping bottles. So yeah, I'm sick, <laughs> and um, they gave me a bunch of medicine to take so that hopefully we get better soon. I hope I can get this video done before Wednesday, but if I can't, it's just more important for me to be healthy and back to normal.
I am so freaking excited right now because we finally made it to the end of the video. It's taken way too long for just one video, but you know, I got sick and stuff, so it's fine. So this is our farm that we made. It opens and closes. I am just so freaking excited. The little doors move, which is... I just love this thing so freaking much. It's so freaking cute. I'm so proud of the work that I put into this. You have no idea. This is the most complicated build that I've done thus far. And I think I did a good job. I think, I mean, this was all freaking popsicle sticks. Like I made this out of popsicle sticks. I'm a freaking genius. So it is time for that time to say goodbye to my precious little babies. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it for you as always. Have a wonderful week because you deserve it, probably. And I will see you next week. Bye.